Gibson, just to lead on from that, has asked, did you base the character on anyone? I did, yeah, but on lots of people. My mum and dad were older when I was born, so all my aunts were older. So as I got older, they were all in Isa's kind of age group. So when I started playing Isa, I had loads of people in my life that were in their 70s. So there was a woman who worked in a local shop, Agnes, and I used to look what she was wearing, because I'd go, oh, I'm going to ask for that cardigan or that skirt, or because she worked in a local shop as well, she used to make you beg for a bag. She would never, that was in the days before you had to pay for a bag, but she would never give you a bag. Um, and so I suppose her and a few of my aunts and my mum and dad's friends, so I would pick wee bits, uh, take, oh, Mrs Robertson across it, I'll take a wee bit of you, Mrs Mrs Ara, call her. Uh, I'll take a wee bit of you, Agnes, in the shop. I'll take a bit of my aunt Agnes and my aunt Jean and my aunt Maisie and, and gather them all up. Just to one ultimate Yeah, to one person, character. so it wasn't just like, you yeah, based on one person. Sweet, I like it. Uh, and Raymond, uh, he didn't have a question, he just wanted to say he loves Granny Bunny. Oh, hello honey pie. <laughs> hello Raymond. <laughs> I thought, no, I have to put that in there, that would be lovely. Um, so that's kind of wrapped up the questions there, Jane, uh, and I thought we could finish up with a little game. Oh, yes. That'd be okay. So this, this is going to end up a dribbly game. This is a... This is a... This is a, <laughs> <laughs> this is a dribbly game. Mr. Fibber, Mr. Fibbers will be dribbling. Or will I be dribbling? Somebody will be dribbling. <laughs> Mac, are you dribbling? Mac, come and say hello to everybody. Yeah, come up and say hello. Mac, say... Hello! Hello everyone! Mac the Doug! Hello! Mm -hmm. ah. He pooped in my garden! He did poop in the garden! Go and get the squirrels! Where's the foxes? Go and get the squirrels! Go get them! Go get them! Go get them! Wes, he's excited. <laughs> so we're going to play a wee game now. Okay. It's called Can You Had Your Water? Now I don't have the best <laughs> accent, so uh, I'm going to try and do that again. Or unless you want to try it. Can You Had Your Water? Does that sound okay? I don't know where you're supposed to be from. I'm trying to speak Glaswegian. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hold your water? Can you hold your water? Pod. Pod. Uh -huh. I've never, I've got a terrible accent because I'm a bit so I've got accents from everywhere so I don't oh. have a particular one so I can't say had your, hod, hod. Hod. Can you hod your water? Your hod your water. Oh, that's a double one, right? Okay. Can you hod your water? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hod your water? <laughs> Can you hod your water? Can you, hold, can you say it for me, please? <laughs> can you hold your water? Oh. <laughs> okay, so the game is, we've got some jokes sent in by my minions, uh, and I'm going to give you a wee glass of water. Ooh. And you're going to take a swig, keep the water in your mouth, and I'm going to tell the jokes and see if you can Ooh, hold okay. your water. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, first joke we have. Knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've done well there, we've done well, okay, okay, that one set me off a bit more. Next joke we have in from the Watt family. When I was young, I was going to build a car out of spaghetti. My mum told me she's not to be stupid, but you should have seen her face when I drove past her. Mm. Was that an alright one? That was alright, that was okay, okay, okay. Karen Ogston sends in, where do fish keep their money? Hmm. In a river bank. Mm. <laughs> it's an old, it makes you think, mm. makes you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Raymond, this is Raymond again, mm -hmm. the right mm -hmm. granny buddy. What do you call a dinosaur with one eye? Mm. Do you think he saw this? The Coopers have sent in one. Why should you not be scared of a spider? Because mm -mm. they're armless. Mm. Uh, sorry, mm. sorry. Okay, uh, Nicola from Motherwell. Mm -hmm. How do you sell a horse to someone with bananas in their ears? Mm -hmm. Do you want to buy a horse? <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Mm -hmm. We nearly got you. Okay, okay. My neighbours are going to love me for that one. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want to stop a wee mm -hmm. minute? Okay. Jean sent this one in. What do you call... A mermaid who isn't married. Single fish. Mm. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, okay. We've got a last. You're doing so well. I'm quite surprised. Mm. Like, the things you laugh at and you're... You're holding your water well. Okay, last one. <clears throat> Why do squirrels swim on their backs? Mm -mm. 
to keep the nuts dry. <laughs> Yes! Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> yes! Nailed it with the last one! Yes! And it was a rude one as well. Well, it's not just carrying up. Well, that's true. Well, yeah. well, I don't know what you think it means! Well, that is it. I can throw oh, out the rule book now. That is all the questions done. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being on. Members. If you could just do one more thing for me. Yes. What I always like to finish in um, with my interviews uh, is I like to tell the kids to um, not be good, to not do good, to do awesome. So if you could say, don't do good, do awesome, that would be amazing. Okay. Don't do good, do awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. That's perfect.